Machine gun, hostile. Machine gun. Oh, that was the weirdest thing. I am Batman. I mean, average sniper. What's up guys, Average Sniper here bringing you another Battlefield 1 video and this time I want to talk to you guys and I want your feedback about what you think the best class in Battlefield 1 is, just overall, you know. I recently did a lot of playing with the other classes and I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think the best class is, the most overpowered class, the most underpowered class, and all that. But before I get to that, I want to tell you guys about a way that you can interact with me. I've started a new Facebook page. The old Facebook page was kind of a clan page that I had left over. This time, I've started a specific page just for interacting with you guys, posting clips, reading your comments. Uh, trying to respond to everything because it's hard to respond to all the comments on the videos and also uh, one of the most important things is partying up in Battlefield whether it's on PC or Xbox one and maybe a PlayStation 4 in the near future? I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that later, maybe in another video. But yeah, I wanted you guys to uh, check out the new Facebook page. Uh, the link is in the description, and uh, you'll also see a link pop up or, uh, you know, pop up on the screen there. Uh, you can go to it on a mobile device or a computer. doesn't even matter. And uh, I also am going to be updating my Twitter a lot more, so I'll also put the link to my Twitter in the description. But go ahead, uh, go check out that new Facebook page. Hit the like button on it. Uh, leave me a comment. I will do my best to respond to everything and uh, we'll see how that goes all right guys so let's get into this video so I want to talk about all the different classes so I primarily play as a sniper and if you guys watch my channel you already know that sniping is like <laughs> the main thing I like to do it's pretty much all I do that and tanking sniping and tanking are my two most absolute favorite things I fell in love with the tanks when I was playing battlefield 4 and I think I like the tanks in battlefield 1 even more. Um, I don't think they seem as overpowered as the ones in Battlefield 4. It's pretty easy for infantry to destroy them. I mean, I can destroy a heavy tank by myself um, as an assault player with the right gadgets with no help as long as I can get those you know shots in. But if two or three assault players run up on your tank, I mean, you have like no chance. You might be able to take one or two of them out, but if they're working together and they're throwing those anti-tank grenades and hitting you with AT rocket guns, dynamite, uh, putting mines behind your tank, you have like no chance. It's crazy. So uh, tanking and sniping, my favorite things. But I recently went on a quest to unlock every gun in Battlefield 1 on PC. Still haven't done it all on Xbox. I'm level 110 on Xbox, but I'm level 93 right now on PC. And I'm liking playing PC a lot more than console just because the better graphics, the keyboard and mouse, the responsiveness, you know, I just get a better feeling playing PC, but I still play my Xbox. We'll still do live streams on Xbox. Xbox will still be there. And uh, maybe PS4 in the future, but like I said, that's a subject for another video. So I decided I'm gonna unlock you know, all the guns, even the classes I don't use. Well, on Xbox, I had all my classes at least level 10. But on PC, the only class I had leveled up was, was my Scout class, and it was level 50. I was like, man, okay, so I've been uh, pretty much only playing the Scout class and the Tanker class on PC. And not even the Tanker class that much, you know, pretty much just the Scout class. So I was like, you know what, I want to unlock the number three... Uh, revolver so so I can use it on the scout class and I did something so stupid I started leveling up my support class because I thought I remembered on Xbox that I had to get my support class to level 10 to get that gun so I get my support class to like level 9 and I'm like let me check you know this gun just to make sure it wasn't the support class it was the assault class so I was like fuck all right so I finished the support class which by the way is like my favorite class other than uh, the scout class and I, I was like, okay, let me do the assault class now to get the number three revolver because I already did the support class. And then when I got done with that, I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to do them all. Let me just do medic, you know. And now pretty much the only ones I have to do left are the vehicle class. I already got tanker. And uh, I might even be pretty close on um, on the plane. Oh, man, that stupid Windows 10 update thing just popped up on my screen. Hold on, let me turn that off. God, I hate that. Stop annoying me with the Windows 10 updates. God, <laughs> I gotta redo my computer soon anyway. It's been about a year. I like to uh, um, reformat my computer. I think I'm gonna get a new SSD for it, but you know what, I got off topic there. So I think um, the only classes I don't have ranked 10 on PC would probably be 
the cavalry, if that's a class, I don't even know if that's a ranking system. I think it is, and probably the pilot, because I don't do that much flying. But I, I want to try and get those to level 10 as well, and I won't, that won't happen overnight. I'll just do that with slow progression. Whenever I spawn into a plane, whenever I spawn onto a horse, it'll get there eventually. But all my other classes are now level 10 plus. And then once I got done doing that, I was like, man, you know what? Let me go for these... Um, extra guns that you unlock the dlc guns and the level 10 variant guns that are available for everybody so i wanted to do this before the russian dlc comes out so i did the 300 kill challenge with all level 10 weapons on every class i already had done it for the sniper class to unlock lock the martini henry and while i was doing this i got a real good feel for how these other classes work even though i, I had used them all to level 10 before it was pretty much when the game was pretty brand new and i didn't remember a lot of it so let me tell you in my opinion what i think the best classes are in battlefield one and and why i think that now keep in mind this is based on my personal experiences i haven't looked up any statistics for the most used classes or anything like that because i want to keep my opinion as my opinion and not just read you guys you know facts i mean that's cool to do and i do that a lot actually but in this video i just wanted to keep it you know 100 percent authentic and uh no outside sources so this is just my experience playing the game so i think the best class in Battlefield 1 for getting XP, for getting kills, uh, for capturing objectives is assault. And I think the best guns on the assault class are the shotguns. I had never even used a shotgun before and I posted like that 25 minute montage that was like all shotgun feeds, you know, and that just happened like over the weekend. I was like, man, I was like, this class is so OP. Okay, so it, I don't think it's OP, but maybe the shotguns are a little OP. But at the same time, I like have a conflict with myself. I'm like, wait a minute, shotguns should be one shot kill at close range. And a lot of times they're a two shot kill if you don't hit them in the right spot. But all these people are, are like, oh, shotgun noobs, shotgun noobs, this and that. But it is so hard to get in close with the shotgun without getting picked off by a sniper or support or a medic or even another assault class. If you get in close with the shotgun, you're good. If you know how to aim, it's pretty much over. <laughs> you can shotgun the crap out of people. But it's pretty much only close range. And I know the Model 10A Hunter was the main one that I used in that montage. And the main one I used when I was doing, you know, the assault class. Because I was just like, God, I love I love this gun. It was crazy. It is, it is maybe a little OP compared to the other shotguns. But in pretty much every first-person shooter, there's a shotgun that's going to be OP. And I don't see you know, a huge amount of people using it. I mean, I see a lot of people using it, but it's not like everybody in the game is always using the Model 10A Hunter shotgun. But enough about that. I think the Assault class is number one. I think the number two class would probably be Scout. Because Scout, you know, you have different rifles that work at different distances. If you're really good, you know, with quick scoping and acquiring your target fast and swapping to your secondary, you can actually use the Scout class in very close quarters to capture objectives, kind of like I'm doing in this clip right here. You know, they have some good guns that can very 95, the SMLE Marksman, the Martini Henry, all those guns are really good at close range and you can swap between iron sights and scopes on almost all these guns. You know, Marksman, iron sights, Marksman, uh, carbine scopes, sniper scopes, it's really cool. So I think assault number one, because once you get in it's pretty much over, you know, close range combat. Scout number two, because it can do close range and long range and the guns are very powerful. You know, those sniper rifles do a lot of damage. The ones that are designed for far away, they do like 60 damage up close, and the ones that are designed for close range can do up to like 85 damage with like a one-shot chest kill. And most of them have a sweet spot, which means there is a certain range where if you hit somebody in the chest, you're going to get that one-shot kill just like it was a headshot. All the sniper rifles do a one-shot kill headshot, unless you're using the M1903 Experimental. I don't even want to talk about that again. <laughs> We're not talking about the M1903 Experimental. It's like the Calibri. It's kind of like a joke gun, you know. It does so little damage to the enemies, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, okay. So Assault class, Scout class, and then I think third class is probably the Support class, okay? The Support class would be my favorite class aside from a Sniper class for one reason. Because you can get long shots. I like getting long shots. Now you might be like, if you watch my channel before, you might like be like, dude, you know, you don't do long shots as a Sniper. You do close to medium range. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you can get medium range shots because to me that some of those medium range shots are long shots, like shots you couldn't do with the Automatico or the MP18 or a shotgun. Any shot you can't do with those, I would consider medium to long range in my little average sniper world, you know. And that is um, 
that's a big plus for me that the support guns, you know, can uh, do that from really far away. It's just, uh, that's, that's what I like. Oh, right here. I was aiming through the canvas in, uh, in the downed blimp and I was shooting people. I was looking at my mini map and I was targeting them on the mini map and then pulling the trigger. I know somebody's going to watch that clip and be like, bro, I knew he aimbotted. Look at that. He's shooting people through the canvas. No, I was lining them up on my mini map. First time I ever tried that and it worked twice in a row. And then I kept trying to do it again and I couldn't get any hits. I was like, I'm going to save that clip, you know, just, just to show people. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. So assault class, scout class, and then support class. And I picked a medic class last. I don't know if statistically the medic class is used least of all, but the medic class I had the most struggle with ranking up. And the main reason I think it is is because the guns I was using on the medic class were probably not the best ones. I was having to use um, that Selb slaughter gun. I think it's the 1906 that only has like uh, five bullets in the chamber and it takes three bullets to kill to the body, two bullets to kill to the head, four bullets at long range. And it's like, man, I would stand there and by the time I shot three bullets, somebody else would already shoot me in the head. I like sniping because the guns are so powerful and usually you can take one shot really quick, back off. You're not going to get hit in the head because you're only up there for a split second taking the shot. But with the medic guns, I was like, man, I was like, I am just getting destroyed i didn't do that bad i mean i got some good clips with the medic guns but out of all the classes i think that was the hardest before you got your xbox so i'd rank the medic class last and i would like to see the medic class get some kind of buff so that more people yeah, use it so. now it does have some good guns like the mondragon sniper i like the selb slaughter uh i think it's the selb slaughter 1916 marksman maybe um that i like i didn't remember the names of a lot of the guns i like hardly out of all the classes medic is the least played and i just explained to you why you know so maybe the medic class does need a buff it does in my opinion need a buff so more people use it it'd be nice to see more people reviving i mean i see medics all the time but they hardly ever revive so maybe, maybe that's not the problem um but yeah those guns in the medic class were just kind of a nightmare to use and let me point out right now that other people might be really good with those medic guns but i am not i i have never been a fan of the dmrs you know the marksman rifles i like to get those one shot kills two shot kills if i have to maybe four shot kills if i'm shooting at a sentry guy with half health there <laughs> that was crazy but yeah um i'm a sniper you know i like to shoot one or two bullets and be done with the target you know uh, but those medic guns, man, if they had more bullets, I think it would be much better. Maybe if they did a little more damage, like the RSC 1917, I believe, is the DLC unlock gun. I like that one. It's like a two-shot kill, you know, at, within range. If they're far away, it's not that good. But if they're within close to medium range, you can basically two-tap them and get the kill. That's kind of how I think the medic rifles should be, somewhere to where they can't do that from far away so they're not too OP, but so you can also stand a chance at close quarters combat, even though you have to reload a lot. It is. It was really cool having the health. I got so used to having the health that when I switched back to the sniper class, I kept trying to throw med packs and ended up pulling my flare gun out a hundred million times in a row because <laughs> I was trying to throw the med pack. So that was pretty awesome. But um, other than that, you know, it was like, I felt like the class was really underpowered, especially when compared to the scout class and the assault class. I got sniped a lot, and I started to see where some of the hate comes from for snipers because no matter how good I was doing as assault, there would always be some sniper two, three hundred meters away that was just taking pot shots at me, suppressing my guy, making it hard for me to move up, and almost being just annoying they, they barely ever killed me from that far away but it was just an annoyance because i couldn't stand still anywhere you know everywhere i went i had to keep moving because those snipers were always packing at me not really helping their team that much unless you consider annoying me helping the team i don't because that just pisses me off and i'm gonna get mad and kill the first guy that i see and be like fuck that sniper i'll kill you instead <laughs> So I kind of get it, but at the same time, uh, the snipers that were up close and personal in my face, I have I have so much respect for those guys, you know, that play that way, because it, that's, in my opinion, that's still the hardest thing in the game to do, is to get up close and personal on the objectives with a sniper rifle and a pistol as your sidearm, because I think the pistols in this game are probably really underpowered. I believe they got a little bit of buff in the last patch, because I noticed that my M1911, instead of doing like 22 damage, started doing um, more damage, or instead of... It was doing like 20 damage before and i think it's doing like 25 to 30 something now i could be wrong but you know that's what i think so hope you enjoyed this video guys check out the facebook page check out the twitter page links in the description i'll see you guys on the next video can't wait to read your comments later